Caravaggio made a real mess of his life. He started off well, but then became proud, arrogant. He even murdered a man. The gruesome painting, David with the Head of Goliath, was painted by Caravaggio in 1610. David has just killed Goliath. The head of Goliath is in mid-scream and blood is spurting from the neck. David is lifting up the head by his hair. But I want you to notice something. The victor is not joyous or jumping up and down in celebration. If anything, David has a demure, sad look on his face. You may even think he's compassionate and sorry for what he's done. Why? Because the head of Goliath is none other than Caravaggio's. It's a self-portrait. Look how tragic this face is and how lost he'd become. On the sword that kills Goliath is the abbreviated Latin inscription, Hassos. The meaning in English? Humility kills pride. But there's another aspect of this painting that's relevant. David himself is most likely a self-portrait of Caravaggio when he was young. Follow me down, there is somewhere I want to go. We see the young Caravaggio looking pensively at the wreck he made of his own life. The Bible says, pride precedes destruction, an arrogant spirit appears before a fall. Like Caravaggio, David had major issues with sin. He committed adultery, and then he murdered the husband of his new lover. But there was a big difference between David and Caravaggio. Caravaggio fled Rome and tried every trick in the book to escape his sin. David, on the other hand, humbled himself and repented. This isn't just a painting about David and Goliath. This is a painting about life. And the key message is a question. What have I made of my life? The good news is this. No matter how far you've fallen, you don't need to run from God like Caravaggio. You can run to God like David.